I don't think I've ever been so excited to make a video. Today, I am going to show you around my new crib. Yeah. Uh-huh. Here is Ooh. a nice little... So fucking sick. First things first, let me get some air going in here. This is my brand new Scout camper, and this is my very first day in it, so I am very excited. <laughs> I am gonna do a more formal, like, high-res, full camper tour video later on, eventually. Um, but first, I just cannot contain my excitement, so I wanted to put it on the map and show you what I'm working with, and just show it off because I'm so excited. So, let's take it from the top, and by the top, I mean the outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, it just fits like a glove. Oh. I mean, come on, it's like meant to be. So much storage. Oh, there goes a the shoe. This is the most exciting part of the whole rig and I'm gonna save that for the next video. So as you may know, I had ACL surgery somewhat recently. It's been about three months now. So getting in and out, is, it's not the smoothest thing in the world for me, but this full-size door is so much better. Okay, so you're coming through the door. Uh-huh. And here we go. We got this nice little table. We got a two bench seat here. We've got this area, which will be storage slash a cooler when we get one eventually. We've got this area, which is a nice little countertop slash where we'll put the stove when we use it. We've got a sink for my skincare routine. Very important. Kitchen storage here. We've got our goal zero, whatever the frick this thing is here. This was included with the camper. It's super fancy. It has USB ports and USB-C ports, which is so key for me because I'm always losing the chunky part that goes into the wall like the wall outlet part but if i were to not lose that it has wall outlets too lower down storage here this goes all the way to the back we'll put some bins in here eventually but for now i've put my little stove and my yoga mat because you know you never know when you gotta bust out some pt other general storage here it's kind of a mess right now because we're still moving in other general storage here here we have our heater intake and outtake whatever and it is a diesel heater which is supposed to be way better on the moisture whatever front like propane is wet heat and diesel is dry heat and that is as technical as i'm gonna get the heater is actually on the outside here um and this box is removable so next summer we likely will remove that whole box so that we can put six bikes across the rack with the wheels on this time we put five bikes on the rack but we took two wheels off which is really not like that hard but you know i'd rather keep my wheels on if i could ledge windowsill so nice we've got a full-size bed it is roomy let me demonstrate wait i should take my shoes off okay <laughs> Woo! so we crawl up and then oh my god this is my favorite thing in the world these bunk windows these open fully so i can you know like put rocks out there or whatever if i have rocks stuck between my toes or something when i get into bed it also has a bug screen which is key for the pacific northwest or if we're trying to go full stealth mode it has these privacy screens which are included on all of these windows and then we also have a freaking sunroof how cool is that? <laughs> I love it up here. I think the bunk windows are my favorite part because Sage always makes me sleep on the inside of the bed when we sleep in campers because he has to get up and pee in the middle of the night way more often than he should. In order to not have to like crawl over me every time he gets up, he goes on the outside and I go on the inside and it's always been so like suffocating being pushed against the wall. Now that I have these windows, I almost prefer the inside. So this is just awesome. Something about me is in order for me to fall asleep ever, I have to read for at least like 25 minutes to calm my mind and like get whatever hit song I have stuck in my head out of there and just be able to relax and go to sleep. So I have this little reading light here. 
Last night was my first night sleeping in here, so I put my book in this hanging bag. It's pretty dialed. And this is where I'm going to do everything. You know. Oh wait, I should show you one more thing. Okay, this is actually really dialed and we've already used this because we have a couple other people with us. And you might be like, where are those people now? Well, let me tell you, they are out riding Coast Gravity Park on their downhill bikes because they have two knees that work for riding downhill bikes. So that's sick for them. I'm very happy for them. I'm not salty at all. I'll get there someday. Anyways, okay. This is our bottom bunk. Check it out. Look at that. That's luxury sleeping for two. Carson slept here last night and he's a he's a big guy and he said it was actually very comfortable for him So I hope I will never have to sleep bottom bunk in my own camper, but if I do, you know It's not bad. So like I said, I will be doing a more formal Full tour video which I think that'll be in a couple weeks because I want to really get a feel for like the best way to use Everything but you know me. I can't wait a couple weeks for the big reveal. So this is it, I'm stoked. I also um, just ordered Starlink. So in theory, Sage and I will be super mobile over the next couple of months slash years, which is sick. The only thing that's really tying me to one spot right now is the gym. So mobile-ish, we'll see. We have a couple of potential road trips coming up. Um, and as long as I can find a gym everywhere I go and then bring one or two kettlebells with me on the road as well, it should be pretty clutch. But I am really focused on strength training right now. Four days a week, no days off, never miss a rep. I really want to be skiing by early in the winter. So it feels like the right thing to do. It's important to me, but it's definitely, you know, a little bit of a sacrifice on like the fun mobility for the rest of the summer and fall. Um, but you got to do what you got to do. I'll just leave you with this. Maybe this will be the outro to my vlog. Wow, this looks so cool in the GoPro light. Yeah, Look at this. Really 